transcendence. Yes, I do believe in transcendence. I believe that information is transcendent of matter. I have experimental evidence for this relationship. If I put a book in a blender, throw some acid in the blender, destroy the book structure, I've lost all the information of the book, but I've lost none of the matter. What is the relationship to information to matter? It's a question that many people kind of ask from time to time. They don't realize why they ask the question. It turns out, or at least in my theory, and other people would might agree with me, might not agree with me, information is transcendent of its matter. I think that perhaps we are transcendent beings, meaning that we organized ourselves. And really, when we look at evolution, what we're looking at is organization. Um, the selection process is an organizational process, for better or for worse. That's how we came into being. But it's not about matter. It's about information evolving. So when you think of life, you're thinking of information. Information is transcendent of matter. I like the idea of transcendence, and I have a pet theory that perhaps in the back of our little brains, we started thinking about transcendence because in a sense, words always were transcendent. When we started developing language, we were developing a transcendent of physics. We were trying to transmit information from point A to point B, which is in a sense, again, a very informationally intense concept. But it's transcendence of physics. When we studied physics, we're talking about the physical systems and how the physical systems work and the physical laws. But you can't do that when you're talking about informational systems. Informational systems are different. They are transcendent of the physics. I really think we haven't fully appreciated this important concept. And it's interestingly that we are first introduced to something as people are struggling with the creation of a god and how the creation of a god, they want to tra create a transcendent being somehow beyond the physics. And we have, for the longest time, wanted to get beyond the physics. I think that's a part of what it is about being human and this whole idea of spirit, this whole idea of why we created these ideas. These are sort of extensions of the idea of transcendence or a natural thing that an informational being would do. They would want to separate themselves from the physical trap. So I like the idea of transcendence. Now this does not mean that if I fall in a vat of acid and disintegrate that I still exist as a transcendent being. No, I'm afraid my information is intimately locked with my physical form. But I can imagine why someone would want to separate their physical self from their informational self so they can be free of the information are the physical constraints that we all are in, under as we are connected intimately with our physics. Anyways, that's my idea on transcendence.